Hi, my name is Daniel. Today, I'll patch Oracle Grid Infrastructure 19C. I will apply a newer release update. I'm using out-of-place patching using the switch grid home method. It allows me to prepare the new grid home in advance, and I can install multiple patches in one operation. And also, it significantly reduces the downtime needed for each individual node to restart. The database remains up during the entire process, but each database instance must be restarted. I'm using a two-node rack cluster. The nodes are called Copenhagen 1 and Copenhagen 2. Let's get started. I start as root on node 1. I create a directory for my new grid home and assign the required privileges. I must do this on all nodes in my cluster, so I create a directory on node 2 as well. Now, as grid, I ensure passwordless SSH connectivity between the two nodes, and I check from node 2 as well. I've already downloaded the software I need, base release of grid infrastructure, the latest O-patch, and the 1917 release update. I've extracted the patch file, the release update, into a subdirectory. Next, I switch to the new grid home and extract the software. Also, I put in the latest version of Opatch. Then, I set a few environment variables that I need later on. I use the utility OLS nodes to get the cluster name and a list of all cluster nodes. Before I finally start grid setup, I'm using the environment variables that I just set. First, grid setup will apply the release update to the new home before it moves on with the creation. It's very important that I do not execute root.sh. Not yet. The new grid home is now ready. Grid setup has copied the new grid home to all nodes in my cluster. The preparations are now done. I did that completely without interruptions. Now I wait until I want to switch to the new grid home. The switch happens in a rolling manner and each individual node will have to restart. I connect as grid to node 1 and switch to the new grid home directory. I set the environment variable current node to the name of node 1, Copenhagen 1. Then I start grid setup to start the switching process on node 1. To finish the switch, I must connect as root and run the root script. Now there is a node downtime. The root script will restart the entire GI stack, including database instance, listener, and so forth. The switch completed on node 1. GI is now running out of the new patched grid home, and everything runs again on node 1. The cluster now reports that it is in a rolling patch state, as expected. Now I can perform the switch on node 2 using the same method. Notice how current node is now set to the name of the second node. I start the switch with grid setup and complete it using the root script. Again, the GI stack restarts, which I can verify using CRS CTL. Notice how all services are either running on Copenhagen 1, the other node, or are offline. When the root script has been executed on all nodes, I have completed the patching process. CIS CTL now reports that the cluster is in a normal state and all services are running on node 2 again. That's it! My cluster is now running on a newer release update. Happy patching!